Hi, welcome to the Games Planner. I'm Jeff the Games Planner, and today I'm Games Planning Terraforming Mars. I have set up the game for two players. Um, first player marker is on blue. There are two options at the start of the game either these cards or these cards. These cards are all the same and they are a beginning corporation. That's what I've set up for. So 42 space bucks on each player and 10 cards each. That's the recommendation for first time gamers, so I'll leave it with that um, because I'm assuming that anyone watching this will probably be coming into their first game and this will what, be what it looks like. Notice I have set up all of my production levels on one uh, for both players. So, the first player gets first go, that is the blue player. These are the 10 cards the blue player has. So straight away what I've done is anything that needs, has requirements, minimum requirements, I've thrown them to the back. So I don't need to look at these ones for a little while. And that means I can now focus on these ones. This one I can only play um, until the temperature gets up to minus 12 degrees. That's probably a really worthwhile one to have because what will happen anytime someone puts down one of those blue cards, I will get two more plants onto it. So I might actually play this straight away to make sure that I get that bonus every single time. So it's going to cost me 12 space bucks. You'll place the cards beside your table, uh, beside your player board. Um, so it costs 12 space bucks, two coppers and one gold is 12. And that stays there, can be used once per per turn. As my second move, I might actually use 25 space bucks, which will be all of my monies, to place a city really early. He's going to start with a city just there. Place the marker on it to show that he has built a city um, that is his. Now, there's a single plant underneath it, so he will get one resource for the plants. That then passes across to the yellow player. This is the yellow player's hand of cards. So once again, all these ones that have necessary temperatures or amounts of water um, can just be put to the side for the moment because I'm not going to use them, which brings me down to just these guys. Um, anything that will increase my production is probably a really worthwhile thing to do. Um, so I might start by increasing my plant production for 12 monies. I can also use this to increase my um, power production and that's only going to cost 4 monies so I'll do that also. Sorry, so Increase plant production. That one there is going to cost four money, so and one change, and that increases my power production to two. He's done his two things, so it becomes the blue player's turn now. He only has five space bucks, so he can't actually afford to play any of these cards. There's no point in looking at any of them, um, and everything costs more than five space bucks. So blue has to pass in this particular turn, which throws it back to yellow, um, ah, yellow might do a food factory. So with the food factory, he's going to be minus one on his plant production, which is okay because he increased that a second ago, but he'll be plus four on his money production. So he'll be able to buy more cards in future turns and this is worth a point as well. So 12 space bucks for that. Uh, minus one on plant production, plus four on money production. And here's another card that looks like it's worthwhile getting into his uh, tableau really early because what's going to happen is every time someone places a space event, he'll gain three money and three heat. Um, so it's really worthwhile. It's only going to cost him seven, so he'll do that straight away as well. Uh, let's push them out because the blue ones are the important ones to be able to see. So seven space bucks. Okay, um, which brings us to production phase. So no one has any power to be able to push across. So we go straight down the line. We go to money first. So each of us gets 20 coins plus this. So blue is going to get 21 money and yellow is going to get 25 money. Then we produce one on each of these according to where the production level is. These guys should all be on one. One and one. That's for blue. Yellow will do the same. So he's on one and one. One there, two into the power one into the heat. First player marker then changes sides. Each player gets four cards which they'll look at and see if they want to purchase. 
Um, so this one will increase the plants. That one's going to be a little bit too hard to get to. It's worth three points, but I don't know if we're going to be able to actually get to it. So I might just hold off on that one. Um, I don't want to lose my plants, so I'm not going to grab that one. Look, there's a lot of these microbe ones here. Um, I think that they're not going to come up again, so I'm not going to bother with them, but I will bother with them. Of course, it will add two of my things, and there's a maximum temperature, so I can use that straight away. Um, that'll only cost me three space bucks. The others go into the discard pile, so I pay my three space bucks. Three. Blue, looking at his cards. Okay. Um, it, I really like these symbols because they chain off each other and there's a card, at least if not two, that gives you points for these symbols. So I might actually, in the hopes that I'll pick that card up, I might grab those two. Um, I'm not going to be able to play them straight away, but it's worthwhile grabbing. This one will increase some production so I can use that and play it pretty much straight away. Uh, that one's going to be super expensive, so I'm going to pass on that one. So one goes into the discard pile and I pay nine space bucks for those three new cards. Okay, yellow goes first. Yellow only has three cards that he can choose from, uh, so he might play this one for 16 space bucks, which increases his plant production by two. So take the 16. So yellow is working on building his engine up. He's not so worried about getting things onto the planet just yet. He's going to let blue have a go now. Um, so he's not sure what else he'll be able to do. Blue only has three that he's able to able to use, able to choose from. Um, he doesn't have, this, this one needs to be down before he can play that. So there's only really two he can choose from. Um, that needs a temperature of two, so he's actually gonna have to hang on to this one for a while, which means he only actually has one card he's able to use, which is this one. Um, and he has the space box to use it, so he might as well throw it in there. 13 space bucks. That will increase his power output by one. That also increases the temperature by one. When he increases temperature by one, he moves up the TR track by one. He will now push back over to yellow. Yellow only has 13 space bucks. Um, so the mining rights are probably worthwhile. Of course, that's going to increase um, his ability to do stuff. So he might actually spend his nine space bucks on that one and hang on to the other card for the moment. One change. And the, this tile goes somewhere where there's a titanium or steel bonus. So he might actually throw that down here which gives him two, um, two extra resources in the steel, and that push the steel bonus up by one. He'll pass there. Blue can't do anything else, so he's going to pass. Everyone's passed, uh, which means we're production phase, so power pushes over to heat on both players. We do money, so blue is getting 21 plus his one is 22. Yellow is getting 20 plus his bonus, which is 25. And then we go through and give them the resource. So two steel resource, one, three plant resource, two heat, um, power resource, and one more heat resource there. And same deal on the blue. So one on each of those two one on the plants, two on the power, and one more on the heat. Once again, we deal four cards to each player. Swap the first player marker, so blues, blues four cards. Are these ones, there's that Gammamede one that Blue was looking for, so he's definitely going to buy that for three. Um, he's not really got any of these microbe ones, and he doesn't really want to worry about microbes, so he'll get rid of those two. This one's going to allow him to up his power uh, for seven space bucks um, each turn if he wishes. So what he might do is get that one as well. So there's two 
two into his hand, which will cost him six space bucks. Three, four, five, six. And yellow, this one needs a certain temperature. Add a microbe to another card. So I actually need another microbe card that's going to take um, the, the tokens before I can actually play that one. This one I can um, add an animal to this card whenever a city tile is placed. Now, because we're at the beginning of the game, there's not too many city tiles placed, so it's probably worthwhile grabbing this one because there's some good points at the bottom uh, if you can get enough of them. That's probably a worthwhile one to take as well because he'll be able to up his TR track, which ups his income. So that's two cards, and that's got a negative on it. I, I don't like the negative cards, so I tend to not take them. Um, so I'll put those two in the discard pile, and he will pay six space bucks. Um, for those two cards. Okay, it is now Blue's turn to do stuff. Um, he has a total of 20 space bucks. He really needs to get this guy played. So what he can do is because this is a space card, he's going to use two of these, which count as three coins each. So that's six, so he's only going to have to pay 14 space bucks. Take six change. And what he gets to do is place a um, city tile on the Gammamede planet, which is that one there. He puts his token on that as well. Uh, it's now Yellow's turn. I think Yellow really wants to get this one down so he can start actioning that. Um, so he'll put this one down for 10 space bucks, and I add one animal to that card straight away. He might actually play this one as well, which will allow him to... Um, up his, sorry, which decreases the energy production to move up the, um, on the TR track. So that might be a worthwhile one for him as well. So 11 space bucks there, and he'll do that straight away. Move that down one. He's yellow, he'll move up one there. And he's supposed to put a marker on it to show that you have done that action, he's done that action this turn. Um, and that might do him. Okay, the blue player only has six space bucks, but he can get this one into his tableau um, for three space bucks, and then whenever he's got seven, he can use that to up his energy. So he'll bring that one on for three of those leftover space bucks, and two to there. Um, that's about all either of them do can do, so they'll, he'll pass and then yellow will pass. Um, we then do production, so first thing is move all energy across to heat, then we will pay income, so blue's on 21, so he's going to get 22, yellow is sitting on 21 up there and five here, so he gets 26, and then two more, one more, three, one more, two more, and one more. Okay, I might leave it there. As you can see, yellow has enough on one, two, three, four, five, six. He's only got seven here, so he's not going to be able to use that. He's got his eight um, on his heat, so he'll be able to, as one of his turns in the next turn, use that to up the temperature of the um, of the planet, and that will move him up one further on the track. Um, I know I haven't managed to plant too much on the table. Um, for you to be able to see how that runs, but you all understand the idea of tile placements. Of course, that's probably enough for you to get an idea of how the first couple of turns run. As you get further into it, you notice that this income track is moving up fairly substantially, so there's more money coming in, which means there's more cards able to be used and placed in your tableau, which will basically build your engine and help you drive through to the end. The game will finish when all three, one, two, and the water, um, are at their maximum and totally placed, and then you'll go into scoring. Um, I hope that's given you an idea of how to play Terraforming Mars. I hope it helps you get Terraforming Mars to the table. Uh, if you've got any games that you wish to be games playing, please shoot me an email at thegamesplanner at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter to see what games I've been playing at The Games Planner. Subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games that I'm, that I'm games planning. Um, and until next time, enjoy gaming.